This is my presentation on elliptic curve addition. So, what is an elliptic curve? Well, it's not an ellipse, but rather, it's this, with the general equation y squared is equal to x cubed plus ax plus b. The curve you are seeing is that of y squared is equal to x cubed minus x. Some properties of these curves are that if a line intersects two points, it intersects a third and that if a line is tangent to the curve, it intersects another point. But what about the vertical line? We can say that all vertical lines with the slope of infinity intersect a point at infinity, and that the curve has an ever-increasing slope after a point of inflection. So, as the slope of the curve becomes infinite, it behaves more like a vertical line, so it also in intersects infinity. Now, thus, a line from point A to po A prime would intersect the curve at infinity. With this in mind, we can define the addition law, having point 1 plus point 2 equal to point 3. We have two cases. The first case is adding two separate points. Step 1 is to find the line between point 1 and point 2, then find the third point of intersection, and reflect it to get point 3. The second case is where you're adding a point to itself. First, we need to find the tangent line of point 1, then find the second point of intersection, and reflect it to get point 3. Now all of these lines boil down to just a few equations, and the first step to finding these equations is to define the line between the two points. I will only be going over the case where we are adding two separate points, point 1 and point 2. The first step to doing this is to find the point-slope form of the line. We can define the slope as lambda equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and we can see that y minus y1 is equal to lambda times the quantity x minus x1. Then we need to rearrange this to find the slope-intercept form of the line. We can see that y is equal to lambda x minus lambda x1 plus y1, and if we define a variable beta to be equal to y1 minus lambda x1, we can see that y is equal to lambda x plus beta. With this equation, we can find x3 and y3 of point 3. If we take our equation and then square both sides, then, remember that the curve has the equation y squared is equal to x cubed plus ax plus b. We can set these two equations equal to each other. Then, after distributing and rearranging, we get this polynomial that has three roots, x1, x2, and x3. And because this is a polynomial, the coefficient of x squared will be the opposite sum of the roots. So we can see that x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to lambda squared. Rearranging this, we get x3 is equal to lambda squared minus x1 minus x2. And to find y3, we plug x3 into the original equation for our line, and then reflect it. But why do we reflect? Well, if we take a point on the curve and then try adding infinity to that point, we get a vertical line between that point and infinity. The third point of intersection will then be the reflection of the original point, and then when you reflect a reflection, you get back the original point. Thus, a point plus infinity is the original point, making infinity the identity for point addition. If we have an identity, we should also have inverses. If we have our curve, a point, and its reflection, and then try adding them to each other, we get infinity, and because infinity is so special, the reflection of infinity is itself. So, a point plus its reflection is infinity, making the reflection of a point the point's inverse. So, if we define a point to be x comma y, and a negative point to be x comma negative y, we can say that a point minus itself is equal to the identity, much like in regular addition. Also, like in regular addition, we have the property of associativity. Now, if we have three points, 
point 0.1, point 0.2, and point 0.3, and we add them together, first adding point 0.1 to point 0.2, finding the third point of intersection and reflecting it, and then adding point 0.3 to that resulting point, finding the third point of intersection and reflecting it, we get this point 0.4. Now, if we take the same three points, point 0.1, point 0.2, and point 0.3, but first we add point 0.3 to point 0.2, find the third point of intersection and reflect, and then add point 0.1 to that resulting point, finding the third point of intersection and reflect, we get the exact same point four. Thus, associativity holds. With these properties in mind, we can say that the curve E under point addition is a group. It has an identity at infinity. It has inverses, which are the reflection of a point. The operation is associative. And it's closed on the curve. But wait, if we have our curve, and we're adding two points together. We find the line between them. We say that's point one plus point two. But we also see that this equals adding them the other way, point two plus point one. Therefore, this operation is commutative as well. So not only is this a group, but the curve E under point addition is an abelian group, which gives it many applications, especially in cryptography. Thank you.